Uh, thank you. I just had to respond to that uh, last remark. I um, married and brought someone to Minnesota from California, so. <laughs> um, and just very quickly, um, uh, you know, to the point that Senator uh, Marty just made, um, you know, this is not hyperbolic. This is not radical. This is not the Green New Deal agenda. This is real. We're living it. The tornadoes were it's last December. I'm not imagining this. You know, I'm not, you know, King Lear ranting in the desert. This is, this is real life. This is what we're experiencing. Uh, I think today, Senator Senjum in his committee was going to have a presentation. Uh, I'm looking at it right now. It's pulled off the internet, talking about what's going to happen in Minnesota and how much it's going to cost us out of our pockets, how much our insurance is going to go up, what's going to happen with the droughts that we've been experiencing, the floods that we've been experiencing, uh, the other effects. Um, members, the IPCC aren't a bunch of radical, crazy people. These are scientists from all across the entire world. There is no difference of opinion on science on this. There's maybe a couple of crazy scientists who don't know what they're talking about who doubt this, but they've been, they've been completely discredited. The science, it's not just the science, we are living it right now. And if we don't turn it around in two years, it's gonna get worse. That's just a fact. And the world is not gonna burn up but a lot of bad stuff is gonna happen, and our farmers, our industries, our forest industry, they're gonna be our tourist industry. Um, and we have hearing after hearing after hearing in Senator Ingebrigtsen's committee, local communities wanting a bunch of money from all state taxpayers, my state taxpayers, for flood mitigation measures, because the charts show the floods have increased by five-fold, ten-fold over the past 10, 15 years, where there were no floods in certain areas of the state, and they want us to pay for those. That's a lot of money. That's the consequence, real money that we have to forego to do other things like, you know, I don't know, making up the special ed subsidy so that we can educate our kids and hire teachers sufficiently all across our state. So members, vote for this bill. Let's get serious. Let's stop these silly debates. There is no this side, that side. It's just the reality of what we're living. We have to turn the climate change dynamic around. Thank you, Mr. President.